Hi everybody, welcome back. Today is another Q&A video and thank you to everyone for giving me your questions and responding to my Insta story request. I have all your questions in my phone right here. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my Insta handle is somewhere here. That's where I usually post a request for questions and you can just ask me anything, you know, and we'll just sit down, have a chit chat and answer them together. So yeah, let's get started. Suraya265, love mini bags. Now Chanel mini flap are no more in caviar. Should I get the small? The price difference is so big. That's a good question because the mini flap has not come out with caviar for a while. So a lot of people are either buying it at a higher premium in the resale market or actually are going for the small classic flap. However, you are right. The price difference is a huge jump. So my question back to you is how important is the caviar leather? If it is important to you, then I would say save up and get the small or just wait it out. However, the more you wait, as you know, Chanel always has price increases. So if caviar is the preferred leather, then I would say go for it and just save towards it. Don't just get the mini flap and give up on the caviar, especially if you love caviar. So those are my thoughts. Klong Klong, do you wear your Justin Clue whenever you wash your hands and sanitize? Do you wear it 24 by seven? Yes, I do. Ever since I have revealed it on my channel, if you haven't watched that, I'll link it up here in the description section below. I have been wearing this all the time to sleep, to showers, to the gym, to wherever. I don't take it off. And I have a reason why I don't remove it. Even though it is much easier to remove than my love, I just keep it on all the time. I will be doing a up, like a review video coming up soon. Just, you know, I'm just trying to wear it a little bit more, have a little bit more thought about it. But yes, all the time. Akong331, any review videos on bags or SLGs? Not at the moment. I did my review on my Lock Me Baby, which is my latest bag. And I also have a review of my multi pochette. Several of them was in my bags, first impressions. Don't have any that is coming up just because I'm not using any of my new bags or even my old bags. I'm just rotating the ones that I have right now. So I hope coming up soon I will. However, yeah, I need to use my bags first <laughs> before I can give a review. If you have any requests for reviews, let me know in the comment section down below. Like you can look through my collection video and comment below which bags you want me to review. I can definitely look into it. KK Love CC, what do you use your round Chanel coin purse for? Oh, let me grab it. This is my round coin purse and I use it as a catch-all. I've got a lot of things inside. Got my eye drops, a little bit of these alcohol wipes, a small little mirror. I've got an extra HD card, a small little nail clipper. I've got a USB drive. I've got some floss. I've got a pair of, what is this? Contact lenses. Got a little bit of money, a couple of coins in here. I've got a hair clip and I have this Minyak Angin. If you are in Asia, you'll know what this is. Minyak Angin direct translation is wind oil basically it's those eucalyptus eucalyptus oil that even if you know, you've got a bit of headache you just take a whiff of this you'll wake up instantly it's so refreshing so i have this all the time with me because i get nauseated very easily sometimes if i'm sitting in the back of the cab i'll feel a little bit like sick because maybe the cab swing a bit too much so i'll just whip this out and just smell it like oh so good <laughs> happy jet jet quarantine fashion please woman quarantine fashion okay t-shirt like my Doraemon t-shirt and shorts this is my quarantine fashion uh, on days that I have the gym then I'll be in my gym gear but otherwise I am really really dowdy <laughs> Vivian WW Poon what is your next luxury bag target any brands that you would like to try on I don't have any bag in particular that I'm targeting if I really want to focus on something that would be my Chanel Gabrielle bag feel like I really want to work on that but if I'm talking about any other brands than LV and Chanel actually I do want to check out Prada I want to check out Loewe and I also want to check out Dior so, well Dior is kind of like in my wish list so maybe these two Prada and Loewe I'm back happy thoughts on luxury are you still being influenced and tips on beating temptation Oh my gosh, I am the worst when you talk about beating temptation. I am easily tempted, easily influenced. For me, what worked when I tried to cut back is actually cut down watching YouTube and cut down watching uh, or following Instagram influencers. I find myself 
being tempted when I see new things or being introduced um, by the new launches. But when I wasn't following so many of these, well, for me, very specifically is my makeup. When I don't follow and I don't, you know, watch, I don't know. And when I don't know, I won't be tempted. So I guess that would be a tip. Though, if you rely heavily on YouTube and Instagram as your source of entertainment, it can be very challenging because, you know, you will be exposed to a lot of this information. The other thing is I also realized that I was tempted when I see a lot of you know emails about sales and discounts and promotions. So what I did when I was really cutting back is I deleted or unsubscribed to all these email subscriptions that told me, you know, 20% off here, coupon there, everything. And without that constant um, you know, push of information and push of promotion, I found myself not looking out to buy things. And yeah, anyway, it's junk in my mailbox, so it does uh, help to declutter that as well. Sea Fizzle, are there any bags that you wanted so bad at one point, but you're glad you didn't get? Oh my gosh, this is such a good question. When I saw this, I was thinking I need to do a video about this because there are many, many bags throughout my whole luxury bag buying career <laughs> that I wanted to buy, but didn't buy. And actually, when I think back about it, I'm really glad I didn't buy. So let's talk about one and maybe I'll do a video about this. One of it is my Gucci, or not mine, but the Gucci Dionysus bag. At one point, I was pretty obsessed with it. I was looking at it in store, the large and the medium size. I really, really wanted to buy it at one point. I, feel, I felt like at that time, I wanted like a classic flat, but I didn't want to pay the classic flat price. The only thing that held me back was the weight of the chain and the bag's structure to a certain extent, but I absolutely wanted it. I walked into the Gucci store several times and I was like this close to buying it. However, I ended up not getting it. I kind of like put it at the back burner for a while and right now I'm really glad that I didn't get it because I think if I have it right now, I would have probably sold it in the end. So. That's definitely one of them. Ned Guam, with COVID now, it's hard to see your family. How are you taking it emotionally? Ooh, um, I try not to think about it. I do feel like I'm still able to see my family, not physically, but with technology. I can call my mom and I can see her you know, on a WhatsApp video or a Skype video. And I miss being there next to them, I miss meeting my, eat, eating my mom's food and just seeing my husband. But you know, I realized that when I think about it and I start, you know, feeling sorry for myself, I get really, really sad and emotional. So I try not to, and I take it a day at a time, just, you know, next day, next day, next day. And the next thing you know, it, it's three months later. It's not the best and not the most ideal situation that I want to be in. But with everything that's happening, I would also be a bit afraid of traveling home right now and going to see my parents. What if I have it and you know I pass it to them? I, 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 can't, I just can't even imagine. So I think it's a good thing that I'm not traveling so much. But yeah, you know, uh, how do I take it? I try not to think about it. Irina Leong, oh, wait, let me just let me just move my legs. Do you miss living in Malaysia and Singapore rather than traveling back and forth? This was before COVID, of course. I actually don't feel like I was missing Malaysia just because I was traveling so often. It was almost every single week, and every time I went home back to KL, I felt good. I felt like, yeah, I'm home, you know, it's cozy, and I know my things, I know what to eat, I, I, I'm excited to be home. Um, being in Singapore is also awesome. I love it here. I love how convenient it is. I feel like this has been a big part of my life as well. So do I miss living in Malaysia? I just never felt like I was away as well. So I don't know if that makes sense. Lynn TPL, how do you store your Hermes bags? I store it in the dust bag and I store it upright. Meow Mimi X, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Have you seen the Celine Pico belt bag? It's so tiny like the Nano uh, Speedy. I have actually, I saw it, well not in real life, I saw it in pictures because I think this is the second time somebody is asking me about the Pico belt bag. It is super 
cute. If you are not um, so bothered or like you know you de desperately want the LV version, actually this Pico bag is a good alternative for a mini bag. I believe the price point would also be better and at least it's more accessible because the LV Nano <laughs> has been really difficult, difficult to get. Saiza Maizan, what do you think of the Jewel Judith Leader bags? I love them. If I had a lifestyle where I went to events a lot, like those gala dinner, you know, events where I need to dress up or even just any kind of like dinner parties and had that kind of social life, I would definitely love to invest in a Judith Lieber bag. One of those classic bejeweled ones. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Stephanie Satyawan, what's your most wanted trendy bag 2020? Ooh, good question. I think for me, I would still consider the Chanel 19 a pretty trendy bag and it's still really trendy for 2020 because a lot of the bags are still coming out with this design except maybe for the recent runway. However, that bag for this year has been one of the most popular bags and you know, I've heard people say that it's more of a classic right now. It's, it's one of those bags that they will keep coming out. But it is definitely one of the more trendier looking bags with the bigger quills, the bigger chains. So definitely that is def my most wanted bag for this year. Iliamo7, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Kat, if you can only have one Kelly, what size would it be? Ooh, I'm, I think it'd be a toss up between a 25 and a 28. I feel 28 is a good size for me and my body frame. I'm five feet four, and I feel like that is a more classic size. But 25 is really cute as well, and I think 25 is just kind of in line with the whole mini bag trend. But um, I feel like I would go for, I think I'll go for 28. Chris Tan 1111. If Fashion House wants to do a collaboration with you to design a bag, what features would you consider? Oh, another really good question. If I could make my own bag with a Fashion House, I would definitely put a back pocket. Like, how can bags not have back pockets anymore or even a side pocket or some kind of outer pocket? They just absolutely need it because we need to slip our phone there or put little bit of things there and it's so much easier to access. So back pocket would be definitely one. A handle, I love having a top handle. It's something that I recently, maybe in the past couple of years, have learned to extremely appreciate. Um, detachable shoulder strap, a long shoulder strap, and I want my shoulder strap to be thicker. So I don't like those dinky shoulder straps. I feel like if I had a chance to do one, I would make it like this thick. I would also want to make the bag without any partitions. Like I want the bag to be one whole, but something that is slim in feature and slim in the silhouette so that it's not too bulky. Yeah, so those are the few features that I can think of at the moment. Jillian Louis, what do you think of the new LV Montessor BB backpack? I think it's super cute. It is a good alternative to the mini Palm Springs backpack. However, I have to say it's quite expensive. I tried it in store and I saw it. I feel like they are just, you know, riding on the mini backpack trend. So making this Montessori BB one, they're just charging a little bit more. But you know, just the bag itself, I think it's cute. If you like a drawstring instead of a zip, like Chi Tea Time, favorite fragrance. I love Anik Gutal or Gutal, Petite Sherry, Mandragore. Oh, let me see, there's so many. Actually, I love all the Petite Sherry's, I'm oh, sorry, all the Anik Gutal perfumes. They've recently rebranded re to be Gutal. And yeah, so far, all their perfumes are really, really lovely. For Fashion 88, favorite bag for work? outings, errands, and date nights. Okay, so for outing and errands is my Palm Springs, uh, sorry, my multi pochette from LV. For work, I'm quite flexible with my work. I do prefer something a little bit more understated. So my Lock Me BB is a good one. Even my Foray Lepage for a tote is a good one. 
And for date nights, oh man, any of my other bags. Um, I love to use my Valisette BB. I love to use my camera bag from Chanel as well. So date nights, I guess maybe a little bit more flashy. <laughs> Constance Co. Between the DR mini box bag and the Chanel walk, which one should I be getting? Oh my gosh. Depends on which one you like. Do you prefer the Dior or do you prefer the Wok? They are both mini bags, but the Wok I would think is more of a SLG and you would need to um, kind of like really cut down because the Wok is a very slim side, has a really slim side profile and it's not very wide. So you would need to remove everything from your wallet and put it inside. With the mini DR uh, box bag, I'm not really sure. I think that's pretty small as well. So both bags you need to downsize. So your, my question to you would be, which do you prefer more? Do you prefer the Walk more or the Dior more? It, it, the Dior more. If you are equal in both, then I would say get both. <laughs> Hello lover XOXO, any regrets on what you've purchased this year? Ooh, good question. I don't think I have any that I've purchased, regretted actually. Most of the things I have really enjoyed and have made me very, very happy. So yeah, I don't think I have any. Do you all have any regret purchases this year? Comment down below. Katie Cadell, what are your top three LV limited editions ever made? Ooh, another good, wow, you guys got really good questions. When I think of limited editions, I always think of speedies and those are the ones that leave a lasting impression in my mind. So the first is the watercolor collection speedy, the white with the beautiful pink and like peach watercolor flowers. Oh my God, so gorgeous. I love that. I also really like love the silver and gold speedy. I believe that was like Paris Hilton, Kim Kardashian kind of like large speedies. So in your face, I think that's the mirror collection. And the third, which I think not everybody likes, but I actually really, really like, is the Ketogram LV speedies. They were so freaking cute. Like I love cats, I love dogs. They had the mouse interior, it was just oh, so, so cute. So those are the three that I actually really, really like. Kimion92, do you wear your Justin Clue all the time, even at night? Is it digging into your skin? Yeah, so answering from the earlier question, yes, I wear it all the time, even at night, even sleeping. And one of the things that I will talk about in my review video is that it does dig into my skin, but I will clarify that a little bit more because I, I don't know, it's not really like digging into your skin, it's kind of like sitting on my skin and depending on how I'm sleeping that night, whether my hand is like this and pressing on, yes, it will dig in. But you know, if it's just like this, like laying on my hand and sitting, it's not digging. So anyway, I will talk about that more in my review video. Mifa 0.0, .0. what's your next target for watches? Ooh, good question. I haven't had any other watch on my mind other than a Rolex. I've got my Cartier, I've got my Chanel, and I feel like my next watch would be a Rolex, but not in the near future. Something more, <laughs> much, much later, and definitely something that I wanna work towards and make sure it's like a milestone purchase. Columbia 1825. What do you think of the bumper car round coin purse for Christmas 2020? I love this collection. When I did my video about, uh, I think, what would I buy it? And I talked about this Christmas collection. I'm not like the huge fan, okay, of the Vivian. However, I, I really like this theme. Super colorful. This funfair theme, which I think is so appropriate and almost ironic for year 2020 because this year has been nothing but fun for a lot of us. It's been one of those, one of the most hardest years for I believe uh, just everyone. And I'm, I just feel like ending the year with this is almost like, it's almost bittersweet. They had the roller coaster, the bumper car, everything I just feel was, it's so, it's like a joke. <laughs> but that aside, the collection itself is so fun. Like so much color and just so much life to it. If you look at the roller coaster where, you know, Vivian is just going down and her hands are up like this, I can actually just 
feel the roller coaster when I look at it. I'm like, woo! Even I feel like just doing this when I'm looking at that picture. And the bumper cars, I love bumper cars. I remember playing bumper cars. So, I yeah, I, I love this collection. Clara Zilla, how often do you use face masks and which one is your favorite? Okay, let's answer my favorite one first. It is SK2's mask. That stuff is... It's like an emergency mask. If anytime your skin feels parched or you're, you know, need to go out for a very special event at night, just slap one of those masks on, leave it longer than it says. Like they say 15 minutes, but I put it on like for an hour. My skin just goes like... It, it plumps up by itself. That stuff is really, really good. I use masks not often enough. I get into like a mood of using my mask almost every day. I get really excited and I just use it every day. And then suddenly I'll just stop. <laughs> and I won't use it for more than once a month. So I am quite a, I'm quite erratic with my mask usage. Saffron Spring, what do you think of the Tiffany LVMH deal? Maybe not happening. I feel like maybe it's not happening. LVMH must have realized that they <laughs> overpaid for that deal. When I heard about it, I thought it was such an awesome idea because LV is growing their jewelry line and it seemed like a good merger and it seemed like a good, you know, partnership. However, when I heard the price of the acquisition, I thought, oh my gosh, that is just insane. It will take them years and a lot, a lot of price increases at Tiffany's side to raise that kind of fund. So yeah, I think they are going to call it off. However, I don't know if Tiffany is going to allow them to call it off because I read somewhere that Tiffany is suing LVMH for a break, like pulling back from the deal. I don't know, so we'll see. TT1014, what's the one luxury item you would keep if you had to let go of everything else? Ooh. For luxury, luxury, I would keep my Birkin because that to me is something that I've always wanted. And, but if I had to let go of everything, like everything, everything, I think all my bags, I mean, specifically, I think I'll find it really hard to let go of the bags my friends gave to me or my family gave to me, like my brother's Nepal bag, uh, the ones they gave me from Radley, my best friend's clutch. I don't know how I can ever give up those things. So, yeah, that's unfair. That's not a good question. <laughs> I'm King666. What do you think of the Chanel Coco Crush Rings? Oh, I'm wearing one right now. So this is the Chanel Coco Crush Ring. I have the one in gold, uh, in the size small. I love it. I feel like I need one more, the thinner version, the mini version to stack with this ring and I will be done. So those are all the questions and thank you to everyone for taking the time to ask them to me. They are so good, so fun. I love these kind of sit down, casual Q&A videos. So if you want to ask me a question, remember to follow me on my Instagram or even comment in this video in the comment section and I will collect them for my next q and I'll try to do Q&As a little bit more often. I have been a little bit behind my filming schedule you know, with work and everything, I've been a bit, um, I don't know, I don't want to say, you know, not in, yeah, maybe like not in the mood, but I'm getting back into it. So I hope you don't mind. I am still working things out. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell as well. Otherwise, everybody, please take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye!